So again, you think, that's why it always pays to do, of course, a bilateral comparison. You think, eh, it's pretty good. The end fields are um, not as firm as I would like, but compared to this side, she has a lot more mobility on the uninvolved side. I'm just going to find her umbilicus and I'm going to just lightly push. So you can take a deep breath in. I'm going to take, good. For the exhale, I want you to exhale as long and as slow as you can. Make it two to three lo times longer than your inhale. Exhale out all the air. And at the end of the exhale, hold for two or three seconds. So after the third or fourth exhale, I should just be sunken in. Not sunken into beside the spine where I used to go. I used to pretty much go beside the spine. And with the next couple of inhales, I'm actually going to not let her stomach push my fist up. So I'm going to sink in a little bit more. It's going to be harder for her and that's fine. But if we recheck her hip flexion and IR, if that enables her uh, lumbar spine and her hip to, to flex better now because it can fold, let's see what happens. How's that feel? Good. Yeah. How's that? Better. Good.